So, um, I'm setting off on my walk later than normal um, because it was raining quite bad. It's just kind of a really fine misty drizzle right now. So it is a bit miserable, but um, my rough plan is I'll take these five now. So I've got pod, nala, pumpkin, raven, and um, forks. And then I'm gonna take the others then. And I'm just gonna do the tips um, with both. Because then if it does really start coming down, I'm really close to home. Um, so, yeah, I did contemplate splitting the puppies up. But it kind of made more sense to me to split um, Aria and Pod up for a, the odd walk every now and again. And then I'm meant to be at Ringcraft later and Helen's meant to come. So hopefully she can get a bit of footage. Um... And yeah, so I managed to do, I think it was like just under 12 kilometers yesterday. And then, yeah, I figured out 160 kilometers is 100, 100 miles. So good start to my 100 miles in March challenge. Um, and then, yeah, we're gonna, I don't, I shouldn't struggle. I shouldn't say that. But it just depends on weather. Um, and then, like, you know, the odd show day here and there as well will interfere with that sort of stuff. But, yeah, it's all good. Oh, I wondered where you'd gone, buddy. With your crazy floppy ears. Yes, a good boy. So he is really greedy. Um, he eats his food faster than anyone else um, and I think that's like because he probably sees it as a bit of a challenge um, because he's in the room with all the other dogs and they're all eating so he's probably just a little bit insecure and stuff in his face um, just in case somebody else wants his um, which obviously wouldn't happen but he doesn't know that and he doesn't understand English for us to communicate, me to communicate that to him. So he does absolutely stuff his face. And then he looks a little bit bloated after eating because he's eating so fast. And it's not bloat to the point I'm concerned of. Because um, if it was, I'd just split him up. i put him in a separate room in a crate or whatever to eat his food on his own. But the likelihood is the home he's going to go into, if all goes to plan, has another dog. So it's much easier if they can all eat in the same room. So, um, yeah, he's just got to get used to it, basically. Right, i got to stop filming and do this gate. So I don't think I'm going to end up getting much filming done. Because look at the visibility. It's just... Naff, and um, so yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get much in the way of filming done. You're looking fat again, Raves. Um, so yeah, anyway, I don't know whether to leave this here and maybe catch up with you on the other walk, or hopefully catch up with you um, at Ringcraft. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, anyway, see you all soon, bye. So, I've got a new plan, I'm going to go down and sort like chickens and horses out and stuff, hopefully this sort of drizzle and wind will die down and then we'll play tennis ball with everyone. Um, that's my plan because it's quite cold and miserable because even though it's a really fine misty rain with the wind in your face too it makes it really cold so um, I'm gonna let these guys have a little wandering and out of the trees because that's the best part about this walk for those lot and then we're gonna go back down because it's cold 
Any fox? Any buddy? You shouldn't jump up. No. Good boy. You're getting better with your jumping up. No. He has been getting better with his jumping up. So yeah, hopefully I'll show you some of the tennis ball action and fun. So yeah, see you back on the yard. So we haven't made it outside to play with tennis balls yet. <coughs> I figured it was quite nice for the ones that went for a walk to come and warm up in front of the fire. Um, and a few extras there as well. <laughs> so uh, yeah, they enjoy you know. So we've made it outside. Um, He's crying and jumping up because I got tens. Oh, throw up. <laughs> you got it's it's hard and it hurts. Um, so slightly cleared up the weather anyway. Um, I don't know how much of this I can film because like I'm on my own and it's quite hard to film and throw. You ready, Jude? Good girl, Jude. Thank you, Jude. F. Thank you. Thank you. Should we go in the field? Should we actually make it all the way to the field, and then I'll film a bit more. So slightly later than planned. Oh, it's chaos. So Aria. Right. So well, it started off. Wait, you do. Pumpkin was chasing a squirrel. Aria was close, so Aria ran in front of her and caught the squirrel. Then Pumpkin tried to grab the squirrel as well and it bit her. So she's got a bit of blood to cut her lip and did. Then in all that excitement, for some reason, Pumpkin and Raven had a scrap. So Raven's covered in blood, but she's not covered in blood because she's cut. She's covered in blood because Pumpkin's lip was bleeding. Oh, it's just like, really guys? Sorry, it's just, just never normal, is it? Oh, sorry. It's me. So Jude tries to get in ahead, and these two kind of wait by me. But I always rather Jude guess it because it's easier to get it off her than Dudley. Thank you, Jude. Thank you. Your daughters, they cause chaos. They do. Good guys. Thank you. You ready? Are you steady? You're gonna go. Bow. Good boy. <laughs> Wait, wait. Oops. Jude has thrown it. The tennis ball destroyer's got it, Jude. He has. Right, I'm going to leave this here. I shall see you all soon. Bye.